Hello everybody and welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to do a little bit of motion tracking in After Effects for a title um, for this montage uh, clip that I'm working on. And I've already got the clips split up. I don't have any transitions in between them or anything yet, but this is the basic thing. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on our file that we want to actually motion track and pre-compose it. And then from there we're going to type in uh, camera tracker right here this 3D camera tracker. We're just going to drop that on top of it. Make sure it hits render track points and then it's going to initialize and go through the frames and it shouldn't take too too long but um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to actually motion track um, this template so that we can actually add some uh, stuff and we're going to add it right here on the side of the bus um, and then uh, it'll go away obviously and you'll see this last part here and just kind of because it kind of looks cool and it's kind of an easy way and it's a 45 second intro that way and uh, it'll actually look really really nice and really sweet when we're done so that's kind of what we're going for so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this until the frames are rendered alright so the motion track here is done and you can see them right here on the side of the bus we're gonna go ahead and uh, just make these track points just a little bit smaller and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and just select a bunch of them here on the side of the bus so we have this nice little plane. We're gonna right click and go to create text and camera. And you'll see here our text appears and it actually created the text and the camera right here. I'm gonna actually grab these, drag them down below and I'm going to simply um, make sure that they are the same length as our clip. I'm hitting alt bracket key to cut those uh, and stuff. So you can see here our text is a little bit sideways. We're gonna go ahead and fix that and we're going to go to transform and we're going to make sure to rotate this uh, just down so it's flat we'll then go ahead and uh, move the position I'm going to move this down definitely definitely want to move it this way um, and we want to move it in onto the bus a little bit more kinda like this and then we're going to go ahead and change this text to uh, Shandaman which is me O C E number one, something like that. Go ahead and change the font type here just to something a little bit different. And let's do uh, let's do something like that. Go ahead and scale it down some, and we're gonna move that up, and we're gonna rotate this a little bit more so it's about like that. And that actually looks pretty cool and now you can see there the motion track is on the bus it's moving a little bit um, which is not what we want so uh, we may actually need to go ahead and uh, we'll just hit reset on that and you can see here it's now way over here but we'll go ahead and move the um, position of it back over to here You'll see here when we hit the reset button, it uh, literally completely resets um, everything on it, but now it won't actually move, which is nice. Let's get rid of that. We're going to rotate that back. Move this up a little bit. Need to rotate that a little bit more so it's about like that. And that actually looks pretty good right there and then it zooms away from it. So that's definitely what we want. All right, so that, that was the easy part. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a uh, new um, solid. We're gonna name this element. Right click on it, go to Effect, Video Copilot, and Element. And once it's here, we're gonna go ahead and disable this view of this text here. On Element, we're gonna go to Custom Layers, Custom Text, go ahead and select Element. Or actually, I'm sorry, we're going to select uh, Shannon OCE 1, Scene Setup. You'll see here it pops us into a new window. If I hit Extrude, our text gets extruded. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time worrying about uh, the look and the feel of this. I'm just going to um, basically drop this on here, and then I'm going to make this inside here nice and white. And we're going to hit OK. And when we do that, you will see our text is back in the original position. And that's OK. Um, there is a way you can just copy all the values from the other one, but because it doesn't really take that long, we're, uh, we're just going to do this ourselves here um, and make the position be what we want. 
We're just gonna make this go over here. All right, so we're gonna up the scale some. We're gonna move this that way up a little bit. And now we need to go into the rotation. We need to just kind of rotate it a little bit, kind of like that. And I want to make sure that this is uh, that it looks very flat and on the bus like it should be. And that's actually not bad. And you can see here now that text stays still. But one thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and move the position of it. Um, not that one. I want to move it all the way down to the end of the bus and put it about like that. That way it stays in the shot a little bit longer, like that. All right. Now one problem we have is that these black bars are going across, and that's because the footage originally had those on there, which is a bummer, but it's not the worst thing ever. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and first of all, on our element layer, we're going to go ahead and make it be the same exact length, like we already had. We'll then drag this down to here. I then want to go ahead and just pre-compose all of these together, hit OK. And you'll see that that then makes the, the uh, you know, the clip where it uh, is in between. So I'm just going to cut it up again. I like to cut things up, as you can tell. Um, and now we need to go into this. We need to go ahead and select this and turn off render track points. We'll get out of that, out of the render queue, and we're back here to the main thing. But as you can see, we're still suffering from this black bar problem. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a new adjustment layer. And I have this effect called black bars. And it's right here is uh, user preset black bars. And if I drop that on there, you'll see it actually puts the correct aspect ratio black bars on there. And all it is is two sets of CC jaws with a completion of 8% and 6%. And I've adjusted the um, position on them a little bit. And that's it. And it's really easy to do. Make sure it's on spikes. And you guys will be good to go. Now, along with that, we can also go ahead and add our effect in here of the uh, looks so we can actually change the way this looks for us and if I hit edit it'll load up the looks builder for me and once I'm in here I'm simply going to um, uh, zoom in on the picture a little bit just so we can kind of get a little bit of a better view and then you just hover on looks over here and then it brings up all of these different um, CC's and everything and you can download a ton of these kinds of things online uh, you don't really have to worry about um, having one that I have or anything like that just you know play around with it get something that you like the look of and uh, go with that and th I mean, there's all kinds of different options I'm actually gonna go with this one right here for right now and you'll see there that it also adjusts it on like our uh, transitions but in this case like this one here is really bright so what we actually want to do is we want to go into our effects and on looks here we want to go ahead and uh, go to, uh, or actually, you know what, we're just going to do transform on this one, by bad. We'll put the opacity at 100%. We will go to the next frame and put that all the way down to zero for right there. And then go back to here, keyframe that, go over one frame and put it all the way back at 100. Now, this one here in the beginning doesn't look too, too bad. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to keyframe this at say, bring it down some, say about 50%, come over here, keyframe it, go to the next frame, and then put it all the way back up to 100. So now we have this nice fluid looking transition um, from one to the other. But on this one here, we may actually need to go ahead and adjust this up onto it a little bit because it doesn't match color wise with the other one. So we're going to go ahead and just adjust this up a little bit to where it has the red hue to it, kind of like this. And uh, that looks pretty good. And actually, I need to go back one frame, keyframe that, bring it up as well. And we'll just it just kind of goes in between it like that. So that looks really, really good and really smart. Well, guys, the main part of this lesson was this Shandaman OCE part here and learning how to use Element and use it um, easily. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial, and I will see you in the future ones on pixelforlife.com. Be sure to check us out on uh, Facebook and Twitter, and I will see you all later.